Something unexplained is happening in our nation's capital, and it has both Democrats and Republicans alarmed. A mysterious slime is defacing several memorials. It hit hard, it hit fast, it hit with an intensity we hadn't seen before. Those are the words of Fire Chief Mark Hartwig describing the wildfire in San Bernardino County, California. Yeah, I mean, we're, 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 well, we're certainly in a period right now where we've seen quite a, bit, quite a few extremes. And, but we've had some periods in the past where we've uh, had clustering of, of really big, uh, uh, you know, catastrophic rainfall events in the past as well. But I tell you, the last decade or so really uh, does raise some eyebrows and uh, very, very suspicious. And as what this means for, you know, policy implications, uh, I mean, this is just so complex. The biggest thing was we had to continually retreat against that advancing wall of fire. And that was something that I haven't witnessed in this section uh, ever. And in my 40 years of fighting fire, I've never seen uh, fire behavior so extreme. Homes reduced to rubble, neighborhoods that look like war zones. Last month was the hottest ever since scientists have been keeping records. When they call the flooding in Louisiana a one in 500 year event, what does that effectively mean? That effectively means that you have a 0.2%, 0.2% of that flood of that magnitude in that area occurring in any given year. But these numbers are losing their meaning. We've had eight 500 year events in just the last 12 months in the United States in six different states. So when you have eight Eight events that are supposed to happen only once in 500 years happen in 12 months. We have a problem. Well, from coast to coast, the temperatures have soared, with July being the hottest in recorded history, the 10th month in a row to break monthly temperature records. A black mass is spreading like a disease over the marble of Washington, D.C. Abraham Lincoln was the great emancipator, but so far, the National Park Service hasn't been able to free the 16th President's Memorial from the slime between Tennessee and Ohio on the on the edge it sticks oh, right out over there, yeah. you see that real dark spot and it's starting to creep downward a little bit yeah. Litterst says experts don't know where the biofilm came from or how to get rid of it it's also now in Arlington National Cemetery and on the Washington Monument but it's by far the worst at the Jefferson Memorial where the white dome is now covered in patches of black Greg Moore can still remember the good times, knowing all too well times have changed. A historic spurt of overdoses. Good evening, I'm Tanner Hesterberg. We begin tonight with a developing story just across the border in Huntington. Emergency responders say they saw a wave of overdoses in a short time span unlike anything they've ever seen. Emergency on Skid Row, one after another, individuals collapsing. And all of a sudden, um, this lady was on the ground with this phone coming out, just shaking. This security guard saw it happen at 5th and San Pedro. An hour later, another one fell down out there, and then the same thing started just shaking, and, you know. Like, like a seizure? Yeah. Another spike afternoon, more than 20 were transported, and cases kept coming. This newly released footage showing 33 people in Brooklyn transformed into zombies, revealing the true dangers of the growing abuse of synthetic marijuana, or K2. Tonight, we lift the lid on this nightmarish epidemic. Many people across the Hudson Valley don't even know exists. They are the walking dead. Look at them. Uh-oh. 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 They're just like looking like zombies. I vomited all over myself. Teenagers transformed into vomit-hurling demons. <laughs> as a public health nightmare takes hold of the Hudson Valley. It's a devilish drug. Look at this. It looks like a war zone. This never before released body camera footage proves just how dangerous synthetic marijuana, or as it's better known, K2, can really be. No, this is not a scene from a movie. They're screaming past out. This is a real street corner in downtown White Plains. Man, do you have idea in here? No. And these are real kids in the throes of a K2 overdose, covered in vomit just a few weeks ago. Look, look, look at her. But for Commissioner David Chong. He normally talks, so this is out of character. Look at the way he's just sitting. None of this makes sense. There's just not one thing in this case that seems to make sense. 
Three people stabbed, two fatally, by a college student on a rampage in Martin County. It is a story that has now captured the attention of the nation. Officers say they arrived at the scene to find a husband and wife killed and the suspect biting the man's face. Martin County detectives say Haroff made animal noises as he bit off pieces of John Stevens' face. They said Haroff displayed such strength that dog bites and tasers didn't affect him. It took multiple officers to subdue him. The mother told police that her son had recently been acting delusional, saying he was immortal and claiming superpowers. Sheriff believes her roof may have been under the influence of something, though his initial drug tests have come back negative. He says the 19-year-old was making animal-like